people don't have access to, to clean water, they end up collecting water from really dangerous sources. There's definitely a higher uh, incidence of disease. It's difficult because it means that there's no true life in that village. Getting food and getting water and these activities are not something that take a short amount of time prepare to get, but they take hours. 785 million people do not have access to clean water. As a result, every 90 seconds a child dies, which means each day 1,000 children die from a water-related disease. One in three people do not have access to clean drinking water, and two in five people do not have access to basic hand-washing facilities, including soap and water. Now, I can share more facts with you, but the ones that I have shared with you should make it obvious that there is still a need in this world today for access to clean water. My name is Dylan, and I'm a part of Power to Change Ministries. We have a humanitarian partner that focuses on relief and development. Global Aid Network, and they have a program called the Water for Life Initiative that drills deep-capped wells in villages that do not have access to a clean water source. I thought I would ask the Water for Life Initiative team about their experience on the field, as well as the value that water brings to a community when it is provided. Water is life, and um, that's really what water means to, to, to people, is that it is life it means health it means opportunity it means hope it brings them hope because for them uh, the future would not be like what the past was for them having water in their village can transform everything it can transform the physical life of the community the spiritual life of the community water means a lot to the villagers it's like uh, the life of the Water is life. As you heard, having access to clean water can transform everything in a village. Let's go a bit deeper and share some of the specific areas that access to clean water impacts. So let's start with the relationship between access to clean water and the local church in a village. We partner with churches. Uh, to go to villages and do all the different work that then uh, there is in Benin. So, as we have partnered with a church and drilled the well, people see through the well the church. The provision of a clean water source is a visible, tangible demonstration of God's love and really strengthens and encourages the, the church that is there uh, to be able to see within the community of believers that people whom they've they've never met or or may likely to never meet um, will have have provided for a need that they have uh, out of the abundance of their generosity and in the unity of the body of Christ. To springboard from that physical water to the message of the living water, we've had instances where people have said to us, you know, uh, you can bring us physical water, but we're going to be thirsty again, but 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 we now understand that there's a living water, that there's a spiritual water that, that we can drink that we'll never be thirsty again. So now we see that water goes beyond the physical needs and can be a catalyst for spiritual growth when the church in the village can connect the message of the living water that Jesus provides and the water well that has been drilled there. Now another area that access to clean water impacts is in the daily life of women and in the time that they spend fetching water. In the villages that Gain is working in, fetching water is primarily the responsibility of the woman. A woman could spend a large portion of her day going to fetch water, especially if the nearest water source is many, many kilometers away. As a water uh, pump is installed right in the center of their village, it gives them fast access um, to clean water that um, gives them more time to spend on other things or to have a better income also for their family if they start maybe sell other things or do another work. So they have more time and more available time because they don't have to walk those distances and get the water. When women don't spend the majority of their time gathering water and a water well is present in their village, they are then able to care for their families, become business owners and community leaders. In giving women more opportunities to contribute in society, another effect that we see is equality between men and women in male-dominant cultures. 
Another area that improves when access to clean water is available is the education of students. That in the case a school doesn't have water, kids have to spend time looking for it. So if this is something that is happening frequently, they're not able to attend school at all. And if there's like this compounding effect as well, right? If you can't go to school and you're sick and you continue to be sick, then you just fall further behind in school, which then you don't have the opportunities to go to the, the better secondary schools. When you have a source of clean water close by, you are sleeping more, you have more energy, you're healthier, you have more time to tend your crops or to find food that will feed you, and then you're not hungry when you're going to school. We could talk about many other ways that access to clean water transforms everything in a village, but I think you can get the picture from what we shared today. Before we wrap up, I want you to hear about a story that Tess shared with me that I believe gives us a better idea of the unseen impact that water wells can create in a community. I'm thinking of a specific one where uh, before the water well came, um, the community had to collect water from a, a pit that was quite deep and it was, it was quite dangerous um, to go and get water from that place. And there was a um, just like a few a few months before um, Gain was able to come and drill the well, um, somebody actually died trying to collect water, and um, and it was a real story of tragedy, and we could we could hear and see the sadness in the community of having to having lost that loved one, and when the water well came and um, provided water for these people, it was more than just just the water itself it was representing the life the life that was lost in trying to collect water and so there was this this really deep value that was added to the water well um that went beyond the physical gift of water it was actually the gift of life that um that now their you know their future generations their kids don't have to put themselves in that kind of danger um and that that well carried the value of that life that was lost from these interviews with the Water for Life initiative team, I came away with a deeper understanding of the importance of access to clean water and how it can truly change the lives of a community forever. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video today. I hope that there's something that you could take away and perhaps share it with someone you know. So please make sure to subscribe to Power Change Ministries and Global Aid Network. Also make sure to check out our social media on Instagram and Facebook. The links are down below in the description.